Good morning, Babylon. It's another edition of Daily Evocation, Daily Exhortation, brought to you by the Spirit and Power of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kadash. All praise and glory is due, definitely in these times. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. The Lord will love the elect because I know they are. Now, this is a repent video for me. I don't know if I it's necessary to do this, but it says, confess your sins one to another and be forgiving. Right now, Alazar of the Sakari, the leader of Sakari, the one that told Tahar of GMS to take a seat. He'll take it from here. High priest Alazar, you know, in the place of the Hawashai, the our high priest. He stated that because Hebrews does not say, thus saith the Lord, that it cannot be the word of the Heavenly Father. So he takes that totally out of the Bible. And GMS, being as thorough as they are, did test to see if the New Testament says, thus saith the Lord. Well, they found out that it says over 418 times to 420 times in the Old Testament, thus saith the Lord. The New Testament does not say it at all. So Alazar cannot use any of the New Testament in any of his preaching ever again. He just basically screwed himself. Uh, it says you'll be judged by your words, every word that comes out of your mouth. So Alazar, if he repents, then he's fine. He has taken himself away from the tree of life. What does that mean? <clears throat> Immortality. So he is cut off from his people if he is an Israelite. Now, if he's an Edomite, who cares? Okay, so... On my part, when I was starting to read the Bible, I had read something that said the Lord's going to destroy those who eat pork in his last days. Now, I didn't read it. I heard it on audio because I couldn't read. I started trying to read when I was 30. So I listened to the Bible on audio over and over and over. So I was terrified of eating pork. But then I'd hear Paul saying that it was okay. I didn't have an understanding. I didn't have any understanding to eat pork, and I was used to the churches and what the purchase of talk, churches had taught me that eating pork was okay. You could eat whatever meat you want. It's all clean. But we know that the food is cleaned through the process of the Bible. The Bible cleans the food, and the Bible tells you what foods are clean to eat and what foods are unclean. And when he was talking about clean and unclean, he was talking about people. He was talking about the, the Gentiles. Gentiles who had gone into other nations and mingled with them. They had lost their melanin. They had lost their traditions. He was talking about them. Okay? So, I got an argument at the grocery store with this one guy who was buying pork and he said he was a Christian. I said, you're not supposed to do that. And I argued with him, but he wouldn't listen. I walked away. I felt pretty good because I held my own and I hadn't read the Bible yet. I'd just listened to it for about four years on uh, audio tapes, and I'd listen to it over and over and over. But I was the only one in my family who said, you should not eat pork. I said, there is something wrong with eating pork. Paul isn't telling the truth. I said that. And I did not listen to Paul's teaching anymore. I took it away. I took it away. I did not trust Paul. I thought Paul was the Antichrist. I thought Paul was the devil. I thought... I said, dude, if the Lord, why didn't the Lord, how should I tell the other disciples about Paul? Why didn't he tell me he was coming? And I had doubts about Paul. I doubted him. I, I did not trust him because of the way he talked and his words, and it just didn't match up with me. I didn't have understanding at that time. I have since repented, and just to put it on note, this is public, that I was taking away from the word of the Heavenly Father. I was taken away. So my part would have been taken away from the tree of life on that note. Now, I have sinned, and I, I, keep, I sin every day. I mess up. But on that note, concerning Paul and the writings of the Bible, of the Holy Scripture that is authored by the Holy Spirit, I am going to be blameless because it is authored. The whole book is authored by the Holy Spirit. Paul, Peter, John, James, Thomas... All of the authors, all of the prophets, it's all authored by the Holy Spirit. So I take nothing away from the book on my part, my repent. Now, I had repented of that a long time ago, but I never said it publicly.
But yes, I did have my doubts about Paul. And Alazar, if you're listening or somebody gets you this, you need to repent if you're an Israelite. You need to repent. You need to humble yourself. Take a knee. Take a knee. You do not want to lose immortality, the universe, a spiritual body of perfection, thousands of wives, worlds of women, nations under your control, nations under your rule, joy forevermore, pleasures. The Bible says pleasures evermore. You do not want to lose that because you're stubborn. I am not going to lose that because I am stubborn. I tell the Lord, Lord, pluck out anything of me that is not of you. I say that all the time, but it seems like it's not working. But the more I listen to the teachers of GMS, they keep you on the path the right way. I'm telling you, there was things I was going off on. I was just going off. And I listened to them and I would be going off on it that same day. And they would talk about it. The same thing I was going off on, they would straighten me right out, right out. Just listen. It was there. The word was right there. The teacher's word right there. The Heavenly Father was working with me, answering all my questions. Anything I was going off on, I would get straightened up by the teachers. That same day or that same week, I would pray about it. Just fact right there. The Holy Spirit just keeping me totally in line. So I know for a fact that the word is there. The light is present. The light is available if you just hearken just a little bit. So if there is something that you're doing wrong, something, anything, I'm telling you now is the time. Repent, straighten out. If it's women, if it's drugs, if it's alcohol, if it's gambling, if it's thievery, if it's embezzling, you know, if you're just being crooked, if you're just backbiting, now is the time to repent because everything I just mentioned, I did all that stuff. <laughs> I did, I was some shit I didn't even tell you about. But, I, you know, I repent. I'm changing. I'm changing. I'm growing because I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm not, only, I'm not only afraid of losing the universe and everything. I'm afraid of what the Heavenly Father is going to do to me. I'm scared. I'm, I'll tell you that before. I'm scared because once you get on his hit list, his shit list, you're done. Them angels going to get you. And they're going to get you in the way you don't want to be got. And I know the Heavenly Father knows that one way that I don't want to be got get me any other way but don't get me that way and he knows i'm scared of that way so i'm telling you this right now if you're doing something wrong repent